All right, we're actually here with an actual commentary. <laughs> I do apologize about that last video. I just see my mouth moving, but my mic wasn't. My mic was turned on, and yet nothing was happening. Uh, this is why you always double check your settings in OBS before you start recording. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> uh, yeah, it occasionally happened to everyone. So, I mean, I've watched you know YouTuber live streamers like that. They'd be continuously talking like 30 minutes into their video and realize that. You know, their mic wasn't on or some crap like that, so, you know, not everyone can believe it perfect. Um, we're going to knock out the Forgotten Tower today. So, when we actually find the Black Marsh. And hopefully be able to use our Saigons. Of course, it's going to be a video on Wednesday anyway, so you'll see this, like... Probably in the morning or sometime later in the afternoon when I get off of work and stuff. I'm gonna enjoy my days off while I can. I got a big town event coming up and it's one of those annoying ones. It's just like, yay! <laughs> I get to deal with more goddamn tourists! <laughs> And trust me, when you live in a town or city that's just nothing but constant tourists, and not those, t not those, you know, nice, respectable tourists, they you know, go to see city sites and, you know, buildings and, you know, structures, and they want to take pictures and gather info. No, 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 we get, like, the douchey type of tourists. People who have zero respect for your town or, or community whatsoever and think they have the right privilege to basically treat it as, as they want. We get those tourists. Uh, and it's really annoying. The Black Marsh. Ah, let's see if we can get that wick one. It's been like a solid like 85, 90 degrees here, so you may hear my ceiling fan and my actual my little fan that I have attached to my chair. So I do apologize and of course apologize for the click of my mouse and stuff like that too. Oh you're right, enchanted. Chad. Alright, I will take that because um It gives me a good representation of what's uh Dubs who scarabs are gonna be like, and oh, are you kidding me? What is that? Three to axe max mastery, and three to sword mastery with one howl and lightning resistance. I mean, you can't get a better helm than that, and it's on the wrong skill tree for my barbarian. Oh, it's a beautiful helmet, but it's like I'm doing a spear pull arm class only. I'm keeping this helmet because I might actually do a Barbarian and more Diablo 2 content later down the road. That's a big tease from the game. <laughs> it's like, we know you're doing a Barbarian walkthrough. We're going to give you this really good helmet, but you won't be able to use it. <laughs> it's like getting a fruitcake for your birthday. It's a nice gesture to you waiting to leave, wait for them to leave, and you throw it in the garbage. <laughs> I mean, there's people out there like fruitcake, but I mean, I, I mean, that shit disgusting. I don't even like Jello, so it's like, okay, we found the tower. Let's see if we can get that waypoint first, and the tower should take up most of the video, so. Or just be the video. But as I was saying, of the whole um, lightning enchanted uh, enemies like that, they give me a good insight of how scarabs are going to be. But I'm pretty sure I want to say scarabs actually have higher lightning damage than a standard lightning enchanted. Hello, sirs. Uh, lightning enchanted enemies. Foul Widow the Howler. Oh, now you're done. Hmm. 
Mercs are holding up pretty well, too. Usually, Act 1 Mercs are pretty squishy. She would have died in like three hits. And she just thought they're just tanking them enemies. Even with my you know, shout boost, too, so that's actually really good. Okay, another encampment. Skull cap, I will take that. How's such a good thing to have, especially with these goddamn chum or little demons and crap like that, they just surround you and stuff. Can't wait to get Saigon to get that. I think it was like another twenty percent increase in um, uh, attack speed. So I should be, if correct, I should be up to like very fast attack speed on this polearm. But uh, we'll definitely find out. God, I love that Diablo two music. I said that in like the first second video when I first started this walkthrough, it's just like, you can't beat it. You know, it's a classic. Oh, there's a big point. Alright, awesome. And I think like after like all the acts of like all five acts of like Diablo 2, I I definitely gonna say I prefer the Act 2 music more and then act one because I'll just like you know look up like Diablo 2 soundtracks and just listen to the soundtrack just strictly by itself while I'm like playing other games like that because the music is just so nice in my opinion That's one thing you gotta be careful when you're entering the Forgotten Tower, especially on the Hell difficulty, is that there is a rare percentage chance to where enemies will actually spawn right there um, at the entrance. And so if you're playing something like a sorceress and you get to have someone like specters or some crap like that, you know, they usually will carry mana burn. And if they're usually like fanaticism with like lightning enchanters or some crap like that, they will mess up your character pretty damn well. And, or if you're playing like a physical barbarian that doesn't have any like elemental damage, just pure physical, you're pretty much screwed. And with Hammerdens, it's kind of even more trickier because hammers will uh, have a certain range, so they'll actually head off the wall before they usually tend to hit the enemies. But I think like the best uh, champions to have that extra type of advantage is definitely the Amazon because of her evade and dodge and I don't remember what the other one is uh, ability so it's a percent chance you won't actually get hit so in case if you ever do get ambushed by something like that you know you really don't have to worry about it too much and she usually has something like magic arrow um, I think it's like magic arrow and like that uh, magic arrow, cold arrow, and fire arrow for like any physical immune so because I'm pretty sure guided arrow is physical But it's always good to have like at least one of those, especially if you're playing a guided arrow or a strafe, like multi-shot um, Amazon, so you have at least something against physical immunes. Any special hits here? Blight buzzer. Well, I just hit you with some peroxide. 
to burn it away. <laughs> oh, double charms. Oh, very nice. If you never had to use hydrogen peroxide as a kid, trust me, you don't want to. <laughs> that stuff burned as hell, too. And your parents will be like, it'll be a little sting from the hydrogen peroxide as they put it on you and you feel like you're just dying. <laughs> Pulse Dancer. Well, you have no pulse and you're not dancing. <laughs> um, let's get suited up. Uh, let's dump the stuff off before you fight the Countess and we'll get suited up with Saigons. Hmm. Okay, that might help you set for something. What is your it's that cold resistor ten? Let's switch it up. Keep that helmet. Um, let's dump all our points and strength. And then we can, after that we can work on um, dexterity and health and shit. Since, like I said, about 30 to 35 it tends to be the limit when we beat the game, so I'm not going to put all my points into strength. Uh, bare minimum is 35, so strength is 64. 62, 50, 60. So, we'll go 80 strength at most. That should be the amount of strength we need. I have this armor here too that I was thinking about using if I wasn't going to use Saigons. Uh, I might actually just give this to my mercenary once you reach level 16. Uh, Twitch Throb is, or Twitch Throw, whatever it was pronounce it's called, uh, is actually really good because that increases uh, attack speed, the fast day recovery, the chance of block, you know, defense, it gives you that 10 extra strength, the 10 extra dexterity, so it's actually going to be really good for something like a smiter, or somebody who's actually playing on using the actual shield itself, so. And since Volk's like on set to get the full bonus is using a shield, but since we're not going to be using a shield anyways, and eventually we'll be giving her this bow too, uh, later on when she's a little more higher level. Um, we'll get a, quite a bit of bonuses, but we won't have that uh, full on bonus. I think it's like one dollar skills or some extra crap that it gives you, but it has that ten percent life. Uh, Saigon's is actually really good if you're planning to make some like a zealer or something, a uh, was it uh, Frenzy Bar or even a, um, uh, what the hell is it called? A Double Swing Barbarian, uh, because it gives you that increased attack speed, but if you pair it up with Kathan's Rings, I believe each Kathan Ring is like 10% life steal or something like that. So on top of Saigon's, you're getting like a 30% increase in life steal, so you will almost almost not die whatsoever unless you come across some of the like scarabs and even with like in my instance is 38 lightning resistance scarabs are still gonna hurt a lot so even with that life steal you still have to kind of keep your fingers on the buttons with those potions to be ready but um yeah 124 damage and then we're looking at a 50 percent increased attack speed so i would say that's probably about very fast attack speed so it should be actually um very helpful for us I'm still going to keep these rings for now until I get a little more higher level. Uh, I might switch out Kathan's um, amulet for something else, but uh, Saigon's should pretty much be helping us all the way out to like Doriel for at least quite a while. So, And we're already level 16, so I'm going to save uh, our points so we can get Concentrate. It's not to level 18 anyways, but still. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, Rocket Nishu is dead. Oh, we got about two minutes, so basically, Countess is going to be our um, thing. That Hal. <laughs> Gotta love it. You're dead. Tear rune. Are you kidding me? That's all she dropped was a tear rune? I ain't worried about picking up the golden crap, but that's just anti Um, yeah, it's one of the reasons why you really don't farm Countess, because she drops, like, nothing but low-tier runes. I mean, even in hell difficulty, I think the highest run she can drop is an Ist. So, and even then, I'm pretty sure it was, like, uh, God, I can't even remember the percentage. It's, like, 1 out of 2,100 chance or some crap like that for her to drop the Ist rune. I know it's extremely high for her, to, her uh, extremely high low rate for her to actually drop an Ist rune, so it's, like, damn near impossible to even get one. Well done, blah 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 blah, yeah. You know what, when I think about it... Uh... What level are you? 13. I wonder how well Eisen... Is that... You know, I wonder how well Eisenhardt's able to work on my mercenary. She'd lose the resistances, but I think she'd gain at least a decent amount of defense. I don't know, she actually gets increased in resistances because I eat. And the damage reduced by two, which is not going to be by much, but she gets that extra dexterity too. So, and that magic resistance, so it might might make a difference. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, because his eyes and hearts consist of a sword and shield. I believe that's all. Besides the armor, yeah, the parry, which being the uh, shield and the lightsaber being the sword. Uh, eyes and hearts is a decent to um, low uh, set. But that's going to be today's video, so we knocked out the Forgotten Tower, um, I'm basically going to grab Barbarian up to like at least level 18, uh, so we can at least get Concentrates, they'll be our first combat skill, and then after that we'll be much proceeding on to uh, the Barracks fighting the Smith, and then later on fighting Indaro and stuff like that, so uh, as usual I do apologize for any of the loud clicks of my mouse, any of the fans you may hear in my background, but my room is like really human, so I don't really have to be sweating, and um... Hope you continue to enjoy the content, and make sure to drop a like, subscribe, comments below, and I'll make sure to check them all out. See you guys.